Hey what's up everyone back with another video. Today we will be showing you how to install macOS Catalina on VMware on Windows PC with a new method. For the interest of full disclosure this video is for educational purposes only. So let's get started. So before we get started we need to pick up some files for the installation. So from the line the first one which we need to pick is VMware Workstation Pro or Player. Of course, both will work definitely fine and there's no changes in these steps, so pick one from them. The next important one is patch for VMware or unlocker for VMware. And last but not least, we're gonna need macOS Catalina ISO file for VMware and VirtualBox. Although this file is easy to get from the links, despite that you can also create it from your Mac. So take whatever you'd like to and when you're done with it, Proceed with the next step which is extracting files into a folder. For extracting these files, we will need WinRAR or SAMZIP that works fine. So go ahead and take a copy of all these files from the links to these files from the description down below. And when you're done with it, extract them all and let's get into it. In case if you encounter some sort of problems when downloading, you can always fix it from the instructions, link in the description down below. So with everything packed up, let's get your hands dirty. To get started, fire up the VMware setup and proceed with the installation. The installation process takes a few clicks and options which are easy to accomplish with and when it's done, hit finish. Now before launching VMware, navigate to the unlocker, right click on win install and click run it as administrator. Since it will download it online, it will take up some while, so when it's done, it will automatically close up. Once you do that, launch VMware and click create a new virtual machine. Then hit next. Next up, select I will install the operating system later and click next. Now select macOS for the operating system and 10.15 for the version, then hit next. On this screen, give out the machine a name and specify where to store the virtual machine files by browsing and choosing a location, then hit next. For the hard disk, change the disk size to 100GB, then hit next. And at the end, click finish. Now without changing the tab, click edit virtual machine settings, then increase the memory to 50% of your system's memory, then move to the next step, there make sure you do the same thing by assigning half of your system's resource. Jumping to the next step which is CD or DVD, select use an ISO image file browse for it and choose the macOS Catalina ISO image file. Now head to the USB controller tab, choose the USB version that the mouse and keyboard are connected to and when you're done with it, click OK on the virtual machine settings window. When it's done, close out of the VMware and head to the virtual machine files, right click on the file that ends with .vmx, then select open with and hit on notepad. The file should now appear on notepad, scroll to the end, type down the command shown on the screen and once it's done, save the file and close it up. Now open the VMware and switch on macOS Catalina. On the first screen, choose your language and hit continue. Then select disk utility from the menu and continue with it. From the list, select the first disk and erase it by giving it a name, then press erase. When it's finished, click done and close out of the window. Now back to the previous window, select install macOS and press continue. Continue with the installation window and agree with terms and conditions, then select the disk and press install. So basically the installation will take up some while and when it will be all done, you will see the macOS Catalina actual installation process. From this point, you can set up Mac pretty much like you would do any operating system, including creating your account, accepting and continuing with a few prompts, and once you are done with it, it will set up your account that will end up into the macOS Catalina installation. The macOS Catalina is now completely installed and there should be no problem with it. But for the excellent experience and cutting above just installation and for a full screen resolution, switch off the machine by clicking on Apple logo, then hit on shutdown again, then hit on shutdown again. Once it's off, go to the virtual machine settings, select CD or DVD and click use physical drive and click OK. Back to the machine now, fire it up and login into your account.
and from the file menu open vm then click install vmware tools when the window appeared open install vmware tools on the installation wizard continue first then hit install when installing when the error pops up click open security preferences then unlock the window from the bottom of the screen by entering your password and click on allow after you have allowed it close out of the settings window and wait for the installation when it's finished click on restart when it's back again log in there and that's it the macos carlina has now completely finished installation including vmware tools and is now completely ready to go for switching to the full screen click the full screen icon from the top menu and the macos carlina will be running seamlessly on vmware and everything should work perfectly fine now you can check things out new apps and a lot more and that's pretty much all to there it is thanks for your watching if you enjoyed the video reach out to our next video by hitting like on our video and subscribing to our channel